Hey guys, it's John LaGranzilla, and I have here something a little different. Um, in a men's group I'm in on Friday mornings, uh, kind of like a Bible study, we were going to have a day where we were going to have a Pinewood Derby. We had some extra cars, and so we have different tables that we usually sit at. And um, they uh, handed out these uh, Pinewood Derby cars uh, kits that we could uh, could make a car for our table, and then we're going to race them on March 4th. And so um, I took one of the cars, and I said I had some resin parts from uh, Godzilla model and a few things that I thought would be cool on there. And so I had this uh, extra cast of a GMK Godzilla head and I had some fins and I made some fins, smaller ones. I had some gamma rockets and so I, uh, I used those. I painted some flames on it and uh, I have to be a little careful because it wants to roll if it gets at a certain angle. Here we go. Yeah. You got to be a little careful here so it doesn't roll off my table. But, um, see if I can turn it and get it to stay. I graphite the wheel so hopefully that will work uh, when you uh, erase it. But I kind of made it for, um, for looks more than uh, uh, speed. I added a couple uh, poorly done, but uh, they're supposed to be tail lights. And so I, I used sort of a metallic gray uh, color theme and used a lot of reds and oranges so that I could get that, um, that uh, fiery look, that hot heat look. I decided to go kind of gray on the tips of the uh, Pins to kind of give the idea that it's uh, hot on the inside and cooling off as it gets to the outside and turning black. So that's kind of how I went. I didn't add any numbers or letters or anything to it. I just thought it looked fine like this. So this GMK head was something I had a kit I was working on for somebody and I decided to try making a mold of the head just in case I ever wanted to make myself a bust. And it was, the casting came out pretty bad. In fact, I had to redo the teeth. And um, on the teeth I sculpted on here, I, I kind of made almost human looking teeth on the back. I just uh, made the uh, front teeth a little sharper. Painted it kind of like a burning GMK. And I also, I uh, didn't read my instructions very well on the kit, but I put the, uh, uh, the, the front axle where the back axle should be. So, that, so it should actually have been further out this way. But I wanted more room for the uh, fins and stuff to fit on there, so I wanted to move it forward more. And uh, so, uh, yeah, so I don't know if that would disqualify it or not, but that's just the decision I made. So, there it is. So we'll see if it actually, uh, actually works on the track and how it does in the race. It'd be kind of cool if it did well in the race and also did well as far as it looks. It sounds like some of the guys did some pretty cool things. I heard one of the guys that used to be uh, on a submarine uh, put, put a submarine on his car, so it'll be interesting to see what they did. So I'm kind of looking at this like it's a commission because I'm sort of doing it for the group of guys uh, on my table, but not really a, a commission either. But I thought I'd just make a video for it for fun. And um, Hope you like seeing it for you Godzilla fans and people like Pinewood Derby. Uh, thanks for watching and until next time, bye.
Here we go, Neymar gets it. Whistling Dixie, we got the men of God trucking, and we have Neville Carnezer, aka the bear. On your mark. Yeah, we reset that one. Okay. On your mark, gets it. Yeah! Woo! Woo! Round two, ready again, and your mark gets it, good! 